Hey guys, so it looks like Apple is moving along quite quickly with iOS 16.5. Today we get another beta. iOS 16.5 developer beta 4 has now been released. Now, as per usual, this one's for developers in the next 24 hours or so. Public beta testers should be able to get this as well. This one comes in at approximately 400 megabytes. Now, once Apple releases a new beta every week, it means we're getting closer to an official release. This one comes in a week later after beta 3, which means Apple has now switched to a weekly release schedule which means or could indicate that this software could be right around the corner to be officially released to the general public. So let's just get into some of the details on the latest iOS 16.5 developer beta 4. Now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss Another episode. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 16.5 developer beta 4 is now officially here. We also get iPad OS 16.5 beta 4 is available for the iPad. Mac OS 13.4 beta 4 is available for the Mac. Watch OS 9.5 beta 4 is available for the Apple Watch. And TV OS 16.5 beta 4 is available for the Apple TV. Now, the HomePod, HomePod OS 16.5 beta 4 is now available for the HomePod as well if you're testing beta software for the HomePods. That is now available under the Home application if you wish to update those as well. Now, this update is smaller, so it's about 400 to 500 megabytes as per usual. That's going to depend on the iPhone that you're using and the software that you're updating from. This one is updating from beta 3 to beta 4. Now, as we go into settings here, the latest build number for iOS 16.5 beta 4 is going to be 20F509. A. Now, the letter A towards the end of the bill number usually signifies, once again, that we're getting closer to an official release. Now, this software does not contain any major new features and changes. There's about three to four changes here, and I can name those quickly here. So, under the news application here, the new tab for sports is right center on the news application. Now, the audio has been moved to the right, and follow and search has been united into one. So that's one of the changes here within this software. There's also an update to watchOS as well. So if we go into general software updates, we now have the ability to choose rather we want to continue running betas on an Apple Watch or not without the need of a developer profile. Now, sometimes it could be a little buggy and it doesn't populate here properly. So you got to click on it a couple of times. But yeah, we now have the ability to actually select if we want to continue running betas on the Apple Watch. Apple is basically preparing your iPhone, your Apple Watch for future software updates. This is going to be the method that Apple will be using to distribute betas from here on out. No longer would you need a profile. Now, there's also some changes under subscriptions. So if we go into iCloud settings here, we go under subscriptions, you'll now be able to see your carrier subscription plan. So carrier benefits, for example. So if your carrier gives you a free Apple Music with your carrier plan, you'll be able to see that here or Apple TV, whatever it is, you'll be able to see those in iOS 16.5 as well under subscription. Now shifting my attention to some of the new features within this beta, if we go into the wallpaper section here, we now have a dedicated tab for Pride wallpaper. So there it is, a new dedicated tab to celebrate LGBTQ plus community. There it is. It is now available on the latest iOS 16.5 developer beta 4, which is something that's new specifically for this beta. Now, I want to end the video with some great announcements coming from Apple today. Apple and Google have now joined forces to combat unwanted tracking using AirTags or any other Bluetooth device. Now, ever since Apple announced AirTags, of course, iOS users have been using them to track maybe their luggage, their keys, or any other items. But we know that these Bluetooth devices, not only AirTags, can be misused to track humans. And this is something that Apple and Google are now joining forces to prevent. And this is some great news coming from Apple and Google now joining forces to combat unwanted tracking. So I'll leave a link down below. You can read upon it if you'd like. I'm happy to announce that this is happening. Of course, iOS 16.5 is right around the corner. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a great one and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.